what we do here is go back, 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 back. So here is Andrews of Cyber City Comics. We carry a large selection of cards here in the front cabinet and statues and busts here when you first enter upon the store. If you turn around here, we then carry... Over here is our new release shelf. This section holds 84 titles, up to 110 of these racks along the bottom of every week's new releases. In the corner over here is where we put our new manga and new graphic novels. So over here is our wall of pops. We've nicely organized by movie and company Marvel, DC, science fiction, toys, and another selection of last month's graphic novels. This next section here, we put in a few years ago, is the wall of graphic novels. I think it looks really, really awesome. It goes from Marvel to DC, Dark Horse, Image, IDW, and it gives you a nice wide area to kind of look at what you want to find. So this section is the last month's worth of books. So in the far corner where I showed you first is the, the brand new releases that stay there for a week. This whole long wall here is all the last month's worth of books and our highlighted graphic novels. The next side of the store is where we store all our hardcovers, our brand new toys, Pops, McFarlane, Funko. On the back wall we keep the nicer uh, statues and anime PVC stuff and it leads into the, the cash area. So this is the brains of the store. We have a, a diamond R RMS system here that keeps track of all our pulls and store inventory. More statue selection in the back wall here and uh, it allows you to see the whole entire store from standing in this one little section. So this is the last shot of the store. Uh, I love the layout of our store because it's a very nice square. You can stand pretty much where I'm standing now and turn 360 and there's product everywhere you can look. I do like the fact when you come up our stairs to the store that the kids section is here at a nice ground level for kids to kind of see as they enter the store because getting kids into comics is something very important to keep this industry alive. I think um, that's very important for the future of comics. Thank you for viewing the video and I hope you can visit the store one day. Thank you.